Whoa. Oh, I'm using the Sky Watcher Nirvana 4mm and the Sky Watcher EDAT Upper Chromatic Telescope. Okay, with this telescope, you have a, a F number which is lower than the F9 or 10 of the AVO star, so the image is a little bit uh, smaller. So, well, with 4mm, you can see a lot of details from the Nirvana. I wanted to go even lower to go. For a Barlow, two time Barlow, and uh, become two millimeter focal length for the eyepiece, reach that two millimeter one. When I applied this, it couldn't have enough inward focus travel. Uh, the extension tube I had was not enough. So, what I did, I removed the actual Barlow lens from the tip of this and I screwed it and I screwed it to the <laughs> to the uh, near one of four millimeter. Now I can reach focus and it's, the image is sharp, it's really good. Amazing. Okay, I was curious how the 5mm star guider looks like the view through it uh, on Jupiter, for example. And I didn't have that eyepiece, so I have the 12mm one. I use the nose head of this Celestron 2 times power law, which practically means 12 becomes a 6 and the image is sharp. <laughs> image is sharp with the power law. That's equal to 6 millimeter now. Okay, I've now attached the Barlow head of that two times bar uh, Celestron Barlow lens uh, to this. It's difficult because the leap of this uh, end part of the eyepiece is not big enough for the screw to attach itself. So it just basically it's loose. And the only thing is holding it is just the uh, eyepiece holder here. The image is beautiful, sharp. Now it is equal to 4 millimeter. So I've had uh, 12, Barlow to 6 millimeter. I have now 8 and Barlow to 4 millimeter. Image is sharp. I, the detail I can see, I couldn't see in that Scowatcher Nirvana 4 millimeter. I couldn't see that. Okay, I've now immediately put the Nirvana 4 millimeter. I can say that the details in this one is better now. I can say that the uh, Nirvana 4mm is better than the 8mm um, Star Guide or Barlow to 4mm. With that one, you had seen some, you could see some chromatic aberration introduced, the color, force color, red and orange. With this one, you don't see that. So, this one is sharper. Okay, this is a Nirvana 4mm, as you can see. I use this all in on a Sky Watcher EDAT upper chromatic refractor. I use also uh, bother Q turret for changing easy the rotating the eyepieces. Makes the work a little bit easier. Not the best, but anyway, this is what I have.